Do you want to be like Jesus? To experience the power he had, the life that he lived? If so, listen to this devotional. Written by Ellen G. White Thank you so much everyone for joining us for our daily devotional reading. To be like Jesus. And today it's a very interesting topic. The title is Aim High and Attempt Much for God, September 19th. You know, we are told that Jesus accomplished much because he attempted much. And even before I read the devotion, I just want to encourage you to attempt much for Jesus Christ. Our text is taken from Hebrews 11 and verse 5. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. The Lord has a great work to be done and he will bequeath the most in the future life to those who do the most faithful, willing service in the present life. The Lord chooses his own agents and each day, Under different circumstances, he gives them a trial in his plan of operation. In each true-hearted endeavor to work out his plan, he chooses his agents, not because they are perfect, but because through a connection with him, they may gain perfection. God will accept only those who are determined to aim high. He places every human agent under obligation to do his or her best moral perfection is required of all. Never should we lower the standard of righteousness in order to accommodate inherited or cultivated tendencies to wrongdoing. We need to understand that imperfection of character is sin. All righteous attributes of character dwell in God as a perfect, harmonious whole. And everyone who receives Christ as a personal savior is privileged to possess these attributes. Let no one say, I cannot remedy my defects of character. If you come to this decision, you will certainly fail of obtaining everlasting life. The impossibility lies in your own will. If you will not, then you cannot overcome. The real difficulty arises from the corruption of an unsanctified heart and an unwillingness to submit to the control of God. Many whom God has qualified to do excellent work accomplish very little because they attempt little. Thousands pass through life as if they had no definite object for which to live, no standard to reach. Such will obtain a reward proportionate to their works. Be ambitious for the Master's glory to cultivate every grace of character. In every phase of your character building, you are to please God. This you may do, for Enoch pleased him, though living in a degenerate age. And there are Enochs in this our day. Christ Object Lessons 330 and 332. Thank you so much for listening to this uh, devotional. And I hope that as you listen to this, you, you in your mind already are sparked many things that you can do for God. Go ahead and do them. And Christ has promised in his word that he will be with you always, even unto the end.